I can come out to be as a, uh, a very good leader. It uh, about myself, I would also like to tell that I can come out to be as a, uh, a very good leader. And yeah, I'm very compassionate and uh, passionate towards studies. It was, uh, I guess, when we were in eighth grade and ninth grade. Yeah, we were selected like. Um, I'm, you know, called out and like made an announcement in class who are interested in Nukkar Nata competition. So all of our friends thought, like, you know, let's give our names and let's see what uh, we'll, you know, we'll be able to do. So we just took part and, you know, ma'am, like we did practice every day and we just went to the competition and like won third prize. Our topic was about the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. It was the, like the rural area cleanliness. It all goes back to when I was uh, selected in sixth class for my uh, theater. You know, we used to have annual day in which we were given a topic for the whole annual day, and we was like we used to perform a theatrical play on that. So I gave my name for that uh, for you know that year, and I was selected as Jack, a character, and I played the role, and I was very excited and you know i gained a lot of exposure and confidence from that since then you know like people you know, teachers to come in class and ask who are interested to give their names as you know anchors for this competition i always used to raise my hand for that and you know just go with the teacher and learn the script and go on stage and speak because after the play i performed i got very confident on stage it all began in grade 9th we all sat together you know one of our friend came up with an idea let's you know because that year we went to another school for a same inter school competition and there we saw that the students actually held the whole anchor of the the whole competition by themselves and we were very uh, inspired by them so we thought we uh, if they can do why can't we so we came up with the idea in grade 9 and we pitched our idea to principal ma'am but back then it was due to certain difficulties that we were not able to conduct the competition properly then we again tried in grade 10th but due to our board exams we were denied the access to the auditorium and the competition and in grade 11 we all the coronavirus hit and nothing was you know took, nothing took place in grade 12th we again went to our new principal ma'am and pitched her the idea she was very you know uh, excited about it and we made few changes in it it was basically a competition based on different different fields of art like it involved editing it involved montage uh, montage editing and gaming designing and music composing dance competition debating everything which you can think of i've played district level table tennis and i went in cbse clusters for badminton when i was in 5th class I've also taken part in the Reliance football youth competition and in for basketball there was like once a competition like you know sponsored by Junior NBA in that I like was selected from the school like you know Partisan. part of the team I'm actually looking forward to get into artificial intelligence because as we're currently seeing the metaverse is kind of on a uprising these days and it as I thought before like when I was in 8th grade back then artificial intelligence was on a low key but it was still uh, you know innovation uh, innovation like kept happening so back then i decided like artificial intelligence you know is going to be the next step in uh, uh, evolution of humanity so then only i decided like i'll go into artificial intelligence you know make something new or just be part of a big team and all i would like to thank my teachers the There was one teacher I clearly remember. It was uh, Aparna Ma'am who, like you know, took the step ahead and you know, like forced me to you know take part in theater and you know anchoring, like to speak up in class. And like she has left the school like way back, and I used to you know I want to thank her. And of course my parents who kept you know motivating me, like supporting me, like yeah you can do it, just go in it, you'll be fine and everything. and for the juniors i like to say uh, academics is important i am not saying you know this like give up on studies studies are like the most important part but apart from that co-curricular activities are also very important because they are very helpful for the portfolio like when you'll go in like further in your life you will be asked like what all have you done apart from studies so at that point you can show them like yeah i have taken part in sports i have become a national player or i'm very good in drama i've been in a part of a drama club uh, since then or i've been uh, elected as a school 
council member and all so just that yeah